Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, spring training, as you know it, is right around the corner. Um, and I thought that this would be a great video to make and just share my experiences of what, tra what spring training is like. Um, because when I was drafted, I really had no clue of what I was getting into. I knew that uh, the next year I had to go to spring training. Um, I actually went to mini camp after I was drafted and then to short season, but that next uh, season I had to go to my first spring training and it was a little overwhelming because I didn't know what to expect um, and you know I only knew what I saw on TV so I just wanted to make this video and kind of share my experience and let you know kind of what happens during spring training uh, so if you're going to spring training you have an idea if you're curious about it you kind of know what goes on uh, but basically what happens is first day you get there you go through all your tests your uh, doctor tests and all these different tests and kind of clear you and everything, all that good stuff. Uh, but what, day by day in spring training, what happens is uh, you wake up real early, first of all. Spring training, you get up early, especially if you need to go see the trainer. And there's usually a line of guys to see the trainers. And the training room has, there's probably, uh, you know, I played for the Padres and the Mets. I'd say the Padres had maybe 10 tables and 10 trainers working on guys. Mets probably had five or six uh, different tables of guys working on guys. So there was a line of guys trying to get their work in um, before the day started. So basically that, that was what you did first uh, if you needed it. Some guys didn't go, uh, but a lot of guys did take advantage of that. They went and saw the trainer got stretched out, massaged, uh, whatever it was, whatever issue they were working on, mobility stuff, whatever it was. Um, and then they had breakfast there. So you can go and get your breakfast, eat whatever you want, a little cafeteria. Um, and then we had a, a meeting, morning meetings. We would do our morning meetings, kind of talk about what was going on that day, what we were doing. But for the most part, what we did was we would uh, go and stretch, obviously. Stretching and warming up took about 20 minutes or so every day. Do a lot of dynamic stuff, uh, mobility stuff, hurdles, things like that to really get loose and warmed up. Um, and then we would break into our positions and do individual uh, position stuff. So like pitchers would go to one field, catchers would go to one field, outfielders would go to one field, infielders would go to one field, stuff like that. And we work on our individual stuff. Uh, from a pitching perspective, that's what I was, a pitcher. We did a lot of PFPs. PFPs are pitching fielding practice. You're gonna do a 100,000 PFPs in spring training. I'll tell you that much. Uh, so PFPs are basically fielding bunts or uh, covering first base, you know, hitting ground balls over here, covering first base, fielding ground balls, throwing a first base, fielding ground balls, throwing a second, fielding, throwing a third. Uh, just a lot of PFPs, really a lot of PFPs. I read an article one time, uh, I forget who it was, I forget what pitcher it was, and they asked him, what, uh, w what do you do to get prepared for spring training? And uh, he said, well, I put my spikes on, and I go stand in the backyard for eight hours straight. <laughs> and he said, because that's all we do. We go out there and we do our PFPs and we shag. So that's the next thing we do. We would get together after we do our, actually before we go shag, uh, after individual position training, we would come together and we would do team defense, um, which would include things like, um, you know, uh, relays, cutoffs, pop-up priorities, bunt plays, the defense on bunt plays, first and thirds. Uh, we'd work on things like that. Um, and then after we did all the team defense stuff, then we were breaking to go into uh, batting practice. And batting practice is where the pitchers would go in the outfield and shag fly balls. Um, hang out there, probably mess around, tell jokes, tell stories. Uh, really do a lot of nothing involved in pitching. So uh, just a lot of hanging out, catching fly balls and stuff. Um, from there, we would do our training. So we would do our running. Pitchers would get their running in, uh, exercising out on the field, speed and agility stuff out on the field. We'd do all that stuff. Then we would break for lunch. Um, we'd go in, have our lunch. After that, you would have a game. Some guys had games, some guys didn't. On days you had games, you had to be out there to go. For pitchers, you know, it was some days you were pitching, some days you weren't. Um, for position players, I think they got a few days off, but I'm not sure. I think they might have. Had it been there every day, I'm not sure. So if you were done, you could finish up, go to the gym, get your workout in.
But if you had to pitch that day, you would have to go back out and go out to the game and pitch in your game, pitch your inning. So then after the game, you come back in, they'd have a little bit of food left over. You could probably eat some more food, and then you would have to go do your workouts in the gym. Um, again, if you were done, if you didn't have to pitch that day, you could uh, eat and get out of there after you did your workouts. So that's basically a typical day. A lot of pitchers would go golfing if they didn't have to pitch that day. They'd be done by, you know, like I said, we got there early. So even the beginning part of the workout with the training, um, all that stuff, BP and everything, we were probably in by 11, 11.30. So you can go hit the golf course by 12 if you didn't have to pitch that day. Um, so a lot of golfing going on. <laughs> but that's really it. That's a typical day. And then everyone will go back to wherever they're living at. Um, you can live in a hotel. They provide a hotel for you or you can live off. Um, and they give you some spending money to rent a place, um, which is nice because if you get three or four guys together, you got a pretty good chunk of change and you can rent a nice little place to stay at. Um, and that's it, really. We just hung out. Um, you know, if you get with a good bunch group of guys, you know, my, the guys I hung out with, we just chilled at, at night and hung out and watched some, uh, watched some TV and stuff and, you know, hung out, told jokes, have, had a lot of fun. And, um, uh, you know, get ready for the next day because, again, you got to be up early. So a lot of times in spring training, you're dead too. Your body's dead. It's a grind. So we're drinking a lot of water and just getting ready for that next day. We'd be in bed by sometimes 8, 9 o'clock just getting ready for that next day. So overall, it's a lot of fun. I hope a lot of you guys get to make it there one day. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, I think I touched on everything. But if you have any questions about spring training, uh, let me know. I'd love to talk to you in the comments below.